Hello guys, and welcome to the next part of my Dawn of War 2 campaign. Where we last left off, we picked up Cyrus and Avitus. And now we're gonna drive them out of the hamlet. By them, I mean the orcs. Those orcs are turning tail. They could be going for help. Stay alert. Now, cover in this game is more important than ever, by the way. Cover, Commander. The suppressive fire from my heavy bolter will keep the greenskins pinned. Like they're about to demonstrate here. In uh, previous Storm of War games, um, cover there. was just sort of a thing you could do. Fire. Our heavy bolters are deadly, but they take time to set up and have a limited field of fire. You could do it, um, like you could go into a crater or something, it would give you more cover. Uh, but in this game, it's really important, especially since you don't have a lot of men. You can see that we're in cover, and we're doing a bunch better than the guys out of cover. Like so. And yeah, we'll just move on. Commander, there is a second relay beacon near your position. Activate it to finish securing the hamlet. This is Avatus. Okay. Set up firing position in there. Yeah, I remember um, doing these uh, parts in the first Let's Play, so Excellent I know what I'm doing work, here. Commander. The hamlet is secure. More orcs are on the way, Commander. Set up your forces to repel the attack. This hamlet must not fall again. Be vigilant. Uh, I don't want the guy there. Orcs Why is he be in front of the cover? Get Come behind on, it. Green skins. There we go. Tactical squad, return. Ah, much data. Good work, Abitus. They have nowhere to run now. Target them before they can get to cover. Oh, by the way, this is um, a film with the tutorial missions. Uh, it's all on the same map. Like, we landed just over here. If you can recognize the map from the first um, uh, mission. It's not all the same map, don't worry, there is variations. You do eventually repeat the same maps, because you have to go back to areas. But apart from that, there is other maps. I think I've just about explained most of the mechanics in this game now. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the frame jumps, I know it happens occasionally. Uh, don't know why. It, it just happens, for some reason it just can't take it for like a second and it comes back up. But yes, let's use the battle cry. I haven't used this yet. You just stepped on a rock and blew it up. Dalen! Jesus, man! Oh, no, it's down there! There it is. It fell into the crater. Never had that happen before, I can't even see down there. Well done, Space Marines. Thunderhawks are on approach to return you to the Armageddon. Victory is but a prelude to the next battle. Okay, mission success. And we get some improved power armor. And two levels up for the newbies. Well done, Commander. With the hamlet cleared, we can secure the main route into the capital. The Greenskins knew to strike where we were most vulnerable, Captain Thule. Cyrus is correct. Someone is agitating the orcs and pointing them at valuable targets. If we are going to win this war, we need to find out who is using the Greenskins against us. Okay. What should I put on Avisus then? Um, let's actually look at these. So that gives plus three accuracy. Probably won't need that if you're up in his face. If you couldn't hit when you're right there, I will be disappointed. Okay. I need a level three to have that, so... Next time, um... Don't really have much. I'll give that to you. And Cyrus, you can't have any of these. They're all level three items. You're going to be in the most danger, so... Actually, no. Dalen is going to be in the most danger. He'll have the armor. And here, um... I'll just get the traits that we can have. Besides, 
Increased range, that is quite handy. And here... What is this? Uh, does not drain when Cyrus' squad is standing still. Quite handy. So he can be stealth and standing still and he could just be there forever. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll do one more mission. Commander, the orcs have struck another valuable target. A powerful orc chieftain named Gutwrencher is leading the assault, but someone must have pointed him at this target, likely without his even knowing it. Take your squads and eliminate this beast before he does more damage. Keep on the lookout for clues as to who may be manipulating him. Okay, let's deploy. What, is that it? The hell was that? Was that just a backup that, yes, this is a big orc. He is enemy. You destroy. No, seriously, what, what was the point of that cutscene? And... Here we are. Gut Wrench's location is marked on your map display, Commander. You will need to fight through the orcs defending him. And this is where the game uh, actually finally starts. You get to decide your path, you get to decide what you do here. Uh, all you have to do is go to the boss. At the end, over here. And I think this is where the game starts um, adding pretty much bonuses. If you kill 100% of the enemies in the map, you get extra XP. If you uh, do it in a certain amount of time, you get extra XP. If none of your squad falls unconscious, you get extra XP. So it sort of gives you an extra challenge along with, um, you know, the challenge of the game. And trust me, we want to do these in a few missions. We'll actually be trying to do this. For now, I'm going to just try and get to Gut Wrencher as soon as possible. But also, I want to go over here. Commander, a critical manufacturing facility lies nearby. Capturing it will allow us to deploy more rapidly. Ah, uh, yes, the manufacturing. Uh, there... He... Um, what am I saying? That is one of three uh, buildings that you... Oh god, Dalen, no! I wasn't paying attention! Uh, and, and so it begins. None of my men are in cover. And... Is this where it begins? Yep, this is where it begins. This is where the... The failure begins. Okay, grenade. You know when I talked about the importance of being in cover? Yeah, none, none of my men actually went to cover. They all just sort of stood out in the open. Even behind the barbed wire is better than nothing. Okay, so I'm not gonna get the extras for staying conscious. That's uh, that's not happening. Okay, we lived. Emperor, be praised. But yeah, you can see how quickly that can turn if you're not in cover. A lot like XCOM. Are you kidding me? I won't do it. Stay up, man. Okay, run. That way. Grenade! Never mind, he died. Still through the grenade, though. Okay, so this changes my plan. I've actually got to go over here to capture this point. I could go back to the, um, the pod to get reinforcements, but this should be fine. Dylan, get in there. And let's use a battle cry. Okay, there's a lot of orcs over here, and this is what's where the challenge really comes in the game. You only have a few marines fighting armies upon armies of orcs. You 
can die. It it is possible. I've died several times in my own let's play. Whether I'm bad or because they're good, I don't know. But it has happened. Oh, by the way, what I'm picking up there is supplies. Uh, I think in this, it gives you just about one of everything that supply grades. So it gives me grenades, heal packs, um, demolition charges. It just gives me all of it. Okay, Dalen, stop hiding. Get in there. You're the force commander. You're meant to be out there ch chasing orcs. Wow. Didn't mean it literally, Dalen. Didn't mean it literally. I won't do it. Okay, let's go on here. They haven't noticed me yet. Now they have. Okay, so let's finally go over here. What I want to do is capture this point. Okay, behind cover this time, everybody. Uh, Dalen, you can actually stay back for a bit. Uh, never mind, you felt like going up, so why stop you? I want to stop my tactical marines from getting to melee, though. They're not that good. As you can see, they're just sort of punching the people. Okay, demolition charge in that building. Uh, Tarkus, move up. Oh, uh, Storm Boys. Okay, Cyrus Welder, heal them. Capture the point. Use our last grenade there. Yeah, it takes a while, but trust me, capturing these are worth it. You'll see, um, what I get in the moment for doing it. Get to well done, Commander. There we go. I trust this was worth the effort. It was. With this foundry in our hands, we can redeploy more quickly. Its beacon also allows for healing and reinforcement. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Yeah, so what this has done is um, it gives me a turret that I can deploy. I'll have to equip it after this mission, of course. But it's going to be really handy. And, um, yeah, there's three of these bins. Uh, there's also communication towers and a shrine, I think. Communication towers give you earth, uh, earth strikes, and shrines give you a bubble, which makes you invincible for a while, I think. I'm working off memory, and I'm still trying to learn to play this game again. So, please bear in mind that I am terrible, and I cannot be held accountable for how bad I am. That is what I'm trying to say here. Yes, yes, I think I have just about explained all the features of this game. I think there's um, I said that before, but I said almost all the features. I think I've explained just about all of them now. Unless there's something I'm forgetting. It'll uh, it'll all pop up over time, so. You don't need to hear it from me, and we've just got some new armor. Too bad it's scout armor. Cyrus is already getting quite a bit. He's already got a shotgun, which he's gonna get soon. Okay, we'll just clear these out and take the point. Then we're gonna move up and deal with uh, the boss over here. I think it was Gut Wrencher, wasn't it? What a lovely name! Okay. Oh, by the way, get used to uh, seeing Dalen on, like, one health. That's gonna happen 
a lot with the way I play him. He's the Forest Commander, and the way I see it, he has to be in front of everybody and get in shots. That's just how I use him. I believe it became a running joke that Cyrus would throw a demolition charge and then Dalen would charge in and get blown up because demolition charges are instant kills for Dalen. They do do a lot of damage, like frag grenades only damage the buildings. Demolition charges blow them up. That takes a lot of force. You got through me, boys, did ya? Guess I got to kill ya myself. Target sighted. Ooh, oh god. Run, 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 run! Skin. Don't get caught in that grenade, it'll do a lot of damage. And you got caught in the grenade. Thankfully he wasn't right next to it. Okay, bell cry. Uh, Saurus, move! But yes, um, this is another thing that uh, this game really added. It was boss battles in the previous Dawn of War. I mean, the, I think the closest to a boss battle you ever got was uh, maybe like the Avatar of Kane, the Demon Prince. It wasn't really bosses, it was just the highest unit that the base could make. In this one, it's full-blown boss battles. You, you fight your way through the level to get to a boss battle. Oh, and over time, I will wish I fight Gutwrencher, and not what I end up fighting at the end. If you don't level up, you just fail at this game. Your people will lose to the infantry before they even reach the boss. Oh god. Scatter. Enemy shockwave coming! Move, 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 move! Thank god it takes a long time for him to even do anything. We need to change position. Use a grenade. Grenade! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh no, run! Dalen! D Dalen! Okay, you li you lived. So I actually lost to the infantry, and I didn't lose anyone to the boss. What? I'm not boss no more. Ah, oh, it. And at the very end, is dead at last. we lost two of these marines. Ready for extraction, commander. This victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. Okay, we got an improved Heavy Balter. Not bad. And this is what I mean. So I killed 62% of foes. Two out of four squads uh, members um, stayed, unco uh, stayed conscious, goddammit. And we completed it in 11 minutes. And we're all level 3 now. Good work, Commander. Gut Wrencher's death has scattered his Orc Band. I am deploying a team to search the orc remains for clues as to who is agitating them. Have we received any additional word from the neighboring sector, Captain? No, we have lost all contact with them. What could possibly take out the communications network of an entire sector in a few days? We will have to investigate, but the defense of Calderas must come first. Commander, deploy to the surface as soon as your squads are ready. Well, I'm gonna call it here, guys. So, thanks for watching the third part of my Dawn of War Let's Play. I hope you stick around. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.